In a mystical land where animals ruled, the wise elephant king vanished without a trace. The kingdom plunged into darkness and chaos. Brave lion-hearted Leo, accompanied by clever fox Ruby, embarked on a daring quest to find the lost king. Through enchanted forests and treacherous mountains, they journeyed, facing challenges at every turn. Along the way, they encountered helpful creatures like the wise old owl and mischievous monkeys. As they neared their destination, they discovered the evil serpent who had imprisoned the king. With courage and cunning, Leo and Ruby outsmarted the serpent, freeing the elephant king and restoring peace to the land. The kingdom celebrated their heroes, forever grateful for their bravery and friendship. And so, the legend of the quest for the lost elephant king echoed through the ages. So according to statistics gathered on social blaze, kids channels like this make tons of views at the end of every month and a lot of money at the end of every month. So in today's video, we are going to look at step-by-step -step procedure and creating such simple videos like this using simple AI tools for free. Let's get started. So to kick this off, you first need to come up with videos ideas that will be suitable to create kids animated videos. You can either do that by brainstorming to come up with those various videos ideas or ask ChatGPT to assist you to generate those videos ideas. For the sake of this video, let's head over to ChatGPT to assist us generate those videos ideas. So we ask ChatGPT in the prompt bar to give us 10 keys for those ideas. And after ChatGPT generate those ideas for you, choose one of the videos ideas and ask ChatGPT to develop a detailed story based on that for you say so we have this prompt we can modify it so write a story on we are choosing the 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 princess and the pea so it said write a story on the princess and the pea it should be very creative and also interesting use simple grammar for better understanding it should not be more than 150 words you can make it more than 50 words or more than 150 words but for the sake of this video we decided to limit ourselves to 150 words so that we can be able to go through it early but if you are doing it for your channel you have to make it more than that so after your story has been generated we ask ChatGPT to create prompt from the story for us so we say give me prompt from the story above that i can use to generate ai videos and and add clear description so we ask ChatGPT to do that for us so we have our prompt ready we have five different prompts that we can use to generate our videos idea the next thing we're going to do is to start generating our voiceover for the story and we can use either 11 labs or clip Champ to do that but for the sake of this video let's use clip Champ to do that and we are going to access the clip Champ tool and select the option to generate the voiceover so we click on the text to speech button here click on try it and then we click on text to speech option there at a box will appear and and we can go back to ChatGPT, copy all our story, and go back to ClipChamp again and paste it in the, in the text box. Now it's time for us to select our preferred voice artist. So choose a suitable voice over artist and preview the different voice samples to find the one that best fits the tone and style of your story. So you choose, you click on the arrow up there and choose the one that best that suits the story. Choose from a variety of voices to help you create a story. After selecting the prepared voice, click on the C button to generate your voiceover and then click on the export button at the top to export your audio. This audio will be exported in MP4. So the next thing we need to do is to convert the MP4 to MP3 with convertkit.com website. So head over to your browser and type free convert in the search bar. Look for free, look for free convert.com in the search results and click on it. Navigate to the MP4 to the MP3 conversion tool. Upload your MP4 file and it should initiate the conversion process. Once the conversion is complete, download the MP3 file for later use as your videos or your track. Now, the next thing we're going to do is to start creating our videos for our, our stories. So we're going to head over to pixvexai.com to do that. So head over to your browser, type pixvexai to assess the platform. So, so we click on the get started in web button 
and when it opens we click on the create button to start creating our videos remember when we're creating the stories we ask chat gpt to create prompts that we can use to generate ai videos so let's let's go back to chat gpt to copy those prompts to paste it in pixx ai to start generating our videos so copy the first prompt that chat gpt gave us and go back to pixx ai and paste it there to generate our first video so when you paste your video before you start generating let's scroll down and choose our video style and also the aspect ratio so we're going to choose cg style and for the sake of this video too we are going to choose the youtube aspect ratio which is 16 by 9 that's already been selected then we click on the create button to create our first video for the story so while the story is creating you do not have to wait for the first story to be generated before you create a second video so we can go back to chat gpt to copy the second prompt and paste it in the prompt box delete the previous one and paste the second one and click on the create button since we have already selected our video style and our aspect ratio we do not need to select the second time again it's already selected so we click on the create button and we create our second video then you can do that to the entire prompt make sure each prompt correspond to a specific scene or action in your story after entering the prompt and initiating the video creation process in pixvex ai wait for the ai to generate all the animated videos it will take time but it, it will not keep long once your videos have been generated you can go ahead and download all your videos into your drive and then we go ahead to do to carry out the next activity so it's now time for us to create our videos or put all our video clips together plus the audio that we generated so now let's head over to canva to assemble all our video clips so we're going to choose appropriate video template and select the youtube aspect ratio which is 16 by 9. the next thing we're going to do is to click on the upload button and choose the video button then click on upload files and import all the video clips that you created with pixx ai to start uh, assembling them in canva the next thing we're going to do is to add our audio file that we converted to mp3 we click on the audio button to and click on upload files and select or look for the audio that we generated or the voiceover that we generated and add it now it's time for us to put all our clips or arrange all the clips or the videos on our timeline we can do that one after the other by um, looking at the clips carefully to make sure you put them at the right place so first add the audio or the voiceover then we add the various um cl video clips okay so looking at our video clips you realize that it will not be enough for the story to not it to, it's not up to so we click on the plus sign and be adding our audio clips okay so we are going to what we're going to do is to duplicate our clips to make sure to uh, make sure it matches or yes to, to make sure it matches the audio so what we do is to right click on or click on the dot on each of the clips and that's on the timeline and choose the duplicate option to duplicate the clip so click on duplicate page so the next thing we'll be doing is to remove the watermark from this video so what we can do is to crop those videos and scale it make sure it fits the entire working area and extend it out from the working area so that the watermark will be out from those clips you can do that to the rest of the clips or the videos but before you do that you realize i've deleted the previous one uh, make sure you do all the editing to reduce the work you are doing before you um you start duplicating the page so what we can what we did was to click on the previous duplicate and delete those ones um edit those videos first remove the watermarks first before we duplicate it to make it very simple for us so you scale it by holding those both sides or the the left and the right side to pull it out a bit from the working area so that the watermark will be hidden under those white options or the watermark will be out okay so that is how you can create your stories your animated 3d animated story you can create the 3d you can create anime you can 
also create realistic videos depending on what you want to do so the next thing we're going to do is to add additional text layers or captions to enhance the storytelling so we're going to add the title of the story to uh a so by clicking on the text button so we click on any other style but we just go by the heading and we type our story title into it so let's go back to chat gpt and copy our story title from there and paste it in that make it more appealing to watch so we we come back to the text box on canva and delete what we have there and paste the the actual story title okay so what we're gonna do is to just add some few editing skills or edit it to our taste and then also add some few effects to our text so what we're gonna do is to click on the effect effect pattern and choose the effect that resonates or that um, you like so we're going to change the text color to white first and then also make it bold and click on the effect pattern and choose the, the effect that you prefer to choose just choose any effect at all just go through it and then choose the one that you think will be okay or will be appealing to you all right so when you are done with everything we can go ahead and then save our file but before then you can also add some transition to this um video to to make it better so when you are done with everything review the entire video project to ensure that all the elements are correctly synchronized and aligned and make any necessary adjustments or edit to, to improve the flow of the video once you are satisfied with the final video, you can click on the share button within Canva editor and share and save your document. It will take some few minutes and your video will be ready. Now the next thing we have to do is to access your YouTube account and navigate to, the, to your faceless YouTube channel to upload the final video to your channel. Ensure to provide an appropriate title or description tags to optimize the visibility and engagement following all these steps you can effectively create a, a, a unique case animated videos with pvx ai clip channel canva and other tools to make it more appealing and also make your videos go viral i hope you enjoyed today's video let me know which aspect of the video you enjoyed the most in the comment section if you haven't watched our previous video, you can go ahead and will pop it up after watching this video, click on it and watch it. And we'll see you in the next video. Once upon a time, in a kingdom far away, there was a wise king who wanted to find a true princess for his son. But how could he know if a girl was really royal? One stormy night, a girl arrived at the castle, claiming to be a princess. The king welcomed her but devised a clever test. He placed a tiny pea under twenty mattresses and twenty feather beds. The next morning, the girl complained of a terrible sleep. She explained that she felt something hard beneath the mattresses. The king knew she was telling the truth. Only a true princess could be so sensitive. Impressed by her honesty and sensitivity, the king happily accepted her as his son's bride. And so, the princess and the prince lived happily ever after, proving that true royalty lies not in crowns, but in kindness and honesty.